Yes. Go through it. Make your chin go through the bars. The Twix bars. The epic bars. All bars. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 24 of Donkey Kong 64. Right, so... Let's head into the giant mushroom. Since we have a couple of things to do in here. So, in here is where, you know, a lot of stuff for every Kong is going to be. But, first things first, we want to, well, shoot this. Want to shoot this thing that's over here. Get the lanky balloon. Man, we're already getting all of the bananas for uh, lanky, are we? Each and every Kong has to shoot that, shoot their individual weapon switches on that thing, on that mushroom. And we shall do so. Because that unlocks a very, very helpful thing in order to help us get up to the top of this. Because there's a lot of stuff to do here. And a lot of bananas to collect, especially for Chunky. But... We're going to we're going in here for just one thing. We're going to get another golden banana for DK here. And what is this one you may ask? Well, it's not here though. You want to unlock those cannons because there's a golden banana. And, uh, judging by the scale of this place, you won't be able to make it all the way to the top in 30 seconds just by playing through it normally. Yeah. It's that huge. Yeah, okay, but, you know. Yeah. That's how huge this place- that's how huge it is. And there is switch number five, so... Switch 5 is purely for, you know, getting to the top of the Mushroom Tower. So that's good. That's very good. And already we can see some things over here. And right here are the red boxes that Funky told us about. So once we get that, our regular shots will be turned into homing shots. Basically, the homing shots go first, and then the regular shots. As you would expect, they are indeed homing. And you can carry up to 50 homing shots at a time. So, they are very helpful in certain situations, but they're not helpful for other situations. Eh, who needs that? We're good. <laughs> because there's a battle arena down here, and we want to do that. Kamikaze Kremlings. So we got critters and splats to deal with here. Now I know what you're thinking. You could just outrun them? No. Because this one, you actually have to play the game if you want to survive. So, yeah. Just play the game. And listen to the booze of the crowd. Those, that tasty, tasty salt. And again, you'll want to watch out for their shockwaves. Because that's probably their deadliest attack. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ah, critter hit me! Oh my god. And it should be remind, and I should remind you that only the critters heal you when they are defeated. Or critters drop the melons, so... Yeah, beware! Ooh! Yes! Yes! Got the battle crown! You can get my ass! Na, 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 na. Kill you all in this town! 
Okay. So, yeah, that was uh, scary. But then again, we have Tiny's blueprint over there, so I guess that's cool. But anyway, we have more DK bananas over here, so let's get them. And we definitely want to climb up this tower because this is definitely a DK section right here. And climb up here. And we got a barrel blast. Ooh. Okay. So, remember how I said that the homing shots are good in certain situations? Well, if there's an annoying enemy, you can just shoot him. And the shots will home in on you, which is great. However, if there are enemies around, and if you're trying to get something like, you know, a banana balloon... Then, I'm sorry, bud. Uh, you're kind of out of luck right there, buddy. Yeah. So, it's kind of awkward with the homing shots in there. And there's no way to switch between them, so... You're just gonna have to deal with that. Anyway, we got another barrel blast over here. To do... Oh. 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 Okay. Get it. Let's get it. I want to get the one that's on the right. I think. No, the one on the left. No, wait. The one on the left. Oh. There we go. Okay, now go over here. Uh, yes. Oh, that one's going to be hard. Got it. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Okay, Path Panic. Okay, so you remember how I said that... Uh, in this game, there's, like, something that could be potentially, like, terrifying. Well, you allow the claptraps to eat, uh, the banana fairies. They make, like, the scariest, they make, like, the most cartoonish, scary thing. Listen. Seriously, listen to that! <laughs> They're like, they, they die. They die. Isn't that scary? <laughs> That's so scary. Like, like, you don't really think about it. Oh, I have 80 bananas. Cool. Oh, cool. Uh, you don't really think about it. But like, isn't that scary? Isn't that scary though? Like... These, these, these banana fairies, they really want you to save them because they, they're about to get eight. Because that's scary, man. That's so scary. But, you know, it's... <laughs> I don't really know how to feel about that. I, I, I have mixed emotions about that. Okay. So, I have... Well, oh, wait. Oh, wait, there are bananas over here. Okay, cool. Alright. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I I think I need, you know, banana bunches, but, you know, I'm good. I'm still good. Because, you know, like an idiot, I want to completely and utterly 100% everything. So, we're gonna get all the bananas, of course. All the regular bananas, of course. I'll probably have to say, like, before I eventually cut away, um, probably the ban the bananas that I w that are basically the easiest to get are Chunky's here, cause he has so many bananas. I'm I'm just gonna say this right now. He has so many bananas at the Mushroom Tower to get that you probably want to save all of them for last there. He doesn't have any other banana... He doesn't have much bananas, you know, outside of the Mushroom Tower. I mean, you got the banana port 
things and everything, but Jesus, he has a lot. And uh, speaking of a lot, um, I should probably mention, uh, you don't really need to worry about banana coins anymore. If you've been playing along like me, then you probably feel very safe and secure knowing that you have well over 50 or 80 even. Because, just saying, um, you're good. You're good on banana coins. You are very, very good on banana coins. If you happen to have, like, 81 or whatever for each Kong, because you've been digging up those mounds of dirt using the Banana Fairy special move and, you know, all that other stuff, then you're good for the rest of the game. Like, once you discover that little thing that, you know, the game doesn't tell you, by the way, you have to figure that out on your own. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, it's just that around that time, you know, you, you know, what? that's a whole other conversation. The point is, you have that, you have that hidden ability that can not only kill enemies effectively in one hit, but you also now know that they can dig up those mounds to get those rainbow coins, which are... Which give five coins for every con. So, you know, you're good for the rest of the game. You're good if you know that fact. <laughs> but anyway, um, now I'm going to find the rest of those bananas for DK. So I will be right back. I found them. I'm good. Okay, so... Once again, minus the blueprint, we're good on that. All right. So next up, we get Diddy. We have a lot of work to do with Diddy. Because we barely found any of his bananas at all. Thankfully, his bananas aren't really that hard to find, honestly. Um, now I'm wondering if this area is only open in the night. Yeah, it is only open in the night. Well, that's okay. Well, actually, no, it's not because a lot of his, a lot of his golden bananas are only available at night, which is weird. But you know, it's it's fine, it's fine, it's whatever. But at least I can make track on, uh, make good progress on his regular ones, I guess. Now, uh, wait, actually. Yeah. Actually, yes. So, a couple of his banana bunches are only available through rocketing up that mushroom. And Steve. Now, I don't remember, but I think. I think, but I don't know, but I think. Well, I know at least one golden banana that is available through the rocket pack. Through the jet, the rocket barrel. But I know Diddy's bananas. <laughs> I know his bananas are probably uh, linked to the rocket barrel. Like this one? No, it's not because it's the one for the for the Kong barrel. It's that one, way over there. It's it's definitely that one. I I know this. I know this. I I practiced. Okay, so very easy bananas right there, so let's go all the way up to here. And get in there, yeah. Welcome to bonus stage. Thankfully, this one isn't so bad. You just have to shoot more frequently now. So, as you would expect... These returning minigames are going to get harder and harder and harder. Because in here, you basically have to shoot at a constant rate. Like I did last time. Except at even more of a constant rate. Because no matter how frequent you are, there are always some turtle is always going to be like, Help! You know, because that's just how it's going to be. And they get more frantic as time goes on, so, yeah. Either way, we're good. 
And now the rest of Diddy's golden bananas are at nighttime. Which, I don't know why that is, but, you know, okay. Okay. So, we're gonna have to switch it up. I also like how this whole scenery right here, the top of this fungi forest, as it were, is just a wall texture. It really is. It's a wall texture, and it's so good. Very, very, very rare thing to do to make that whole thing a wall texture. Ow. But anyway, we're gonna go over to go over to the hub. We switch it over tonight, and then we're gonna go over to the banana. So we shall return in the mo. Back here again with that edit. Okay. So I should really find a place for my phone that isn't on my arm. Okay. So. Anyway, as I was saying, most of Diddy's bananas, or golden bananas, rather, are at nighttime, so we're going to have to be here for a little bit, and you might not be able to see well, but I don't really feel like changing up the brightness. You will, you will see the game as it's presented. But anyway, oh, this one. <laughs> okay, so... Use Diddy's guitar to call Squawks, and he will light the way. There are two banana bunches here, and of course I want to get them. Because I'm a jerk who wants to 100% shit. Oh god, Squawks, please. Thank you. Yeah, this can get a little bit awkward to do. Yeah, this is a little awkward to do because he doesn't complete... Squawks doesn't completely light the way. He just lights your way like one foothold at a time, and that's kind of a problem. So, my best advice for you is that if you're on a straight path, like... If you're on a straight piece of lumber like this one, then hold the R button to center the camera. Or at the very least, make it so that the camera will always be behind you at all times. Because once again, the camera in DK64 is not the best. So, gonna want to be very careful and not make risky jumps like I was going to, but, ah. Uh... And it's a good thing to show that off, because, uh, technically there are no lives in this game. Man, DK was really thinking ahead before, you know, the Golden Age, were they? So, yeah, there are no there are no lives in this game. Um, you just simply die and then you respawn back from where you entered. Squawks, please, thank you. You just respawn from where you entered, so that's good. And by the way, this part this part coming up is a tease. You think they light the way, but no, they don't. And that's stupid. Very stupid. But at the very least, we got the banana fairy right away. Alright, so now we can die peacefully. That's pretty morbid. And we can move on with our lives. God, that section is just kind of bad. Didn't really like that. But, now for something that is kind of, kind of, you know, pretty okay. The part where we have to climb up this thing. And, we open up the way that's only available at nighttime and also only for Diddy, so thank you. And it actually kind of confused me a little bit. And yeah, as you probably noticed, the animations for pressing the... Uh, present the blue switches are different. So, yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Now, you're probably wondering what to do here. And also, there is a uh, enemy. There is a bat over there that you can actually kill. Not one of those fake-ass bats, but an actual real bat this time around. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought I saw the homing shot go... Over toward the melon? I don't know. 
What I do know is you need to shoot that on switch so you can use your chimpy charge to um, pull up this. Are you ready for unnecessary unnecessary step number three? Because I'm sure ready for unnecessary step number three. What is unnecessary step three, you may ask? Well, unnecessary step three is that the golden banana is locked in the cage. And what do you need to do? You need to unnecessarily play your guitar so you can open up the cage unnecessarily. You think it would be enough to just, you know open the cage right away so you can get the golden banana after you pulled it up. But no, apparently not, because, you know, according to Donkey Kong 64, you have to do absolutely everything if you want to do the thing that I just said. So, yeah, that was Unnecessary Step 3. I hope you enjoyed Unnecessary Step 3. I really enjoyed, uh, I really enjoyed Unnecessary Step 3. It was really cool on Necessary Step 3, but you want to know it's also pretty cool? The fact that I might need to turn up my brightness after all, because most of this stuff is going to be available at night time, and oh boy. Might, might need to see. But regardless, what we're going to do now is in here. You still need to find the uh, Diddy blueprint, but that's okay, because we can kill that bones. And you hear, you hear a little snoring in the uh, in the tree. Let's wake up, everybody! I don't speak to anyone without wings. Come back when you can fly. Oh boy. I need to learn how to fly, y'all. And apparently there is no way that I am able to see. Oh my god. How come I'm able to see just fine on the Wii U gamepad just fine? But apparently I can't do that on the TV or in the capture. Whatever. Oh god, your face! Hoot! Let's see if you can fly through my course of rings around this tree! Rings round two! Except this time around, we actually have to do laps. Once again, if you're too many rings behind, you'll fail. But you have unlimited crystal coconuts for this, so you're good. Alright, so this is basically all we're doing. It's just, you know, going through rings, flying through rings. Who would have thunk that the concept of flying through rings could be so simple? I mean, Nintendo pretty much perfected that flying through rings stuff in, you know, 19 uh, 1907. <laughs> At 1907, with. Um, the SNES Star Fox. So that was perfect. That was very perfect. But, you know, who would think? Um, how could you possibly screw up flying through rings? In 1999, you can. Oot! I knew I should have made the course harder, but I suppose you've earned the prize. And your prize is... A challenge! Yay! Why can't you just give me the golden banana? I don't know. Welcome to bonus but you got a busy barrel barrage, so that's your prize! Yay! 
All right. So, uh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, I forgot the homing shots carry over. I forgot it. I forgot. Oh, my God. Okay. So, you might have unlimited regular ammo, but in terms of homing shots, you might as well waste them. But uh, same rules apply as it did for Chunky earlier, is meaning that you have to sit in a circle and just basically shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot like a maniac. That's how it is. Wow. I am already like well over 30 minutes into the recording. Jesus. I need to stop. Dang. It's not my fault Fungi Forest is so huge. But anyway, after this banana, we're gonna we're gonna call it quits. And I'm gonna turn it to daytime because I had enough of not being able to see. Alright, so we are going to continue our little journey through Fungi Forest on the next time of Donkey Kong 64. So see you guys on next time. Thank you for watching. And good blah. Make it daytime so that we can be able to see to see the light. Oh, the lie that's blinding our eyes.